Hey folks, Eddie from Brain Pulp TV, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a bit of a vlog. Now, I've never done one for the channel. I've done updates for the channel, letting you know what's going on, and uh, the, the, which was sort of like vlogs. Travis has done actual vlogs for the channel, letting you know both stuff about Brain Pulp TV and what's going on in his life uh, in relation to both the channel and just in general. So I've I've always wanted to do one. I meant to do one a couple days ago, and I didn't get a chance to. So I'm finally sitting down and banging one out right now. Now I'm gonna talk about several things in this video. It's not gonna be too long, but I am gonna try to cover several topics. But the first and foremost thing I wanna talk about is the biggest thing that's going on with the channel right now, which is the Top Deck Hero $50 giveaway. If you're unfamiliar with it, a link will be appearing above my head, taking you to that video explaining what the giveaway is. However, just sort of like an abridged version of what it is. If you go to that video and leave a comment telling us what you would like to see more of on the channel that we're currently doing or what we're not doing on the channel that you would like to see in the future, you will be entering for a chance to win a $50 store credit from topdeckhero.com, which is an online store which sells Magic the Gathering singles. So now that I've explained what that is, I wanted to go over some of the comments or the, some of the, the, the basic idea behind some of the comments or the thoughts behind some of the comments on that video and just sort of like let you know that we are reading them and sort of give you some feedback on them. Normally we give feedback on comments directly, like we're re replying, re re replying to the comments in the comment section, but I want to do it this way because we had a lot of comments. It's going to be more difficult to reply to some of them, especially because some of them ask or request the same sort of thing. So this way, I can go through a bunch of the comments. I have sort of talked to Travis about this a bit. So I believe we're going to be on the same page with all these sort of responses and thoughts on the comments. But if not, Travis can chime in in the comment section of this video and let me know where he thinks I went wrong. Now to start things off first, there was a comment that uh, asked for more vlogs on the channel. So you're welcome. I guess. See, there you go. Ask and you shall receive. That is something I am doing right now. Or maybe you preferred Travis's vlogs and this is not what you had in mind at all. In that case, I'm sorry, but you know, sometimes you got to be careful what you wish for. Moving on from that, the most commonly left comment was about EDH or commander or multiplayer in some way that you guys would like to see more content when it comes to that. And Travis and I both really, really want to do more commander content, more multiplayer content. Those games are a bit more tricky to shoot uh, if we're going to be shooting them live or like doing actual paper magic with, but we have done in the past and we do plan to do it in the future. As well, Travis just recently released a deck tech for a commander deck he built, sort of a, a Minotaur um, commander tribal deck that he, that he built. So you can check that out. Link will be appearing above my head, taking to that. So we have started to produce some of that content. The deck techs, because obviously they're 100 cards rather than 60 cards, will be a little bit more difficult to sort of produce um, a lot of, but we will try to produce commander deck techs whenever we can as well too. Maybe I'll try the magic online commander format, which is sort of the one V one, which isn't really in my mind, the true spirit of commander, but you know, at least it'll be some sort of commander content, but we have listened to those comments and we are going to be doing some of those uh, types of videos in the future. Next up, we have people asking for popper, which we've done a, a bunch of in the past. And yes, we are going to continue doing popper videos in the future, both gameplay and deck techs. And I'm going to try to do some updates to some of the popper decks that I've played or even some of the deck techs that I will be doing, which I have done also in the past where I go on to Magic Online, test out some tweaks to the decks. Uh, play them against a variety of different popper decks, see how they're they're sort of faring, and then give you guys an update as to what I've changed or my thoughts or what sort of ideas or even asking for what sort of ideas that you guys might have that could still improve those decks further. So there will definitely be more popper content in the future on Brain Pulp TV. And yes, in general, there were several comments just regarding deck techs and uh, building on a budget as well, too, which sort of goes hand in hand with Popper. I mean, Popper is, is typically one of the, the more uh, thrifty of the uh, formats in Magic, so, but it can still get kind of expensive. But typically, if, if Travis is doing the build, he always has budget in mind. He's very, very budget conscious when it comes to, to decks. I would really like to sort of let loose a little bit and do some non-budget deck techs, but 
th those will always probably be done with sort of like, this is how you can build it if budget is not a concern. Here is how you will build it if budget is a concern. Speaking of budgets, also, there were a couple of comments uh, talking about the Choose Your Brew video series that we are currently doing. We've done two uh, videos for that, and you guys got to choose what card Travis and I were going to be building decks around, and we're going to be producing deck techs for those decks, as well as doing some gameplay on the Mana Cave. Now, we both enjoyed, Travis and I both enjoyed doing those uh, videos and the idea behind those videos, and some of you guys, based on your comments, enjoyed that sort of experiment as well, too. So that is going to be coming back in the future. We will have the deck techs for the You Choose the Brew decks coming out on this Wednesday, I believe, and then the following Wednesday or somewhere around there, give or take a couple days. And then we'll be playing against each other with those decks in an upcoming episode of the Mana Cave, most likely July 7th. If I've got my dates right in my head, I don't have a sheet right in front of me, but I think that's when we're going to be doing the Mana Cave battling it out. And in the meantime, I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing some updates. You, you might have seen the um, Magic Online version of the Mana Cave that we released this Friday, where I played a Cat Tribal deck, which was inspired by the You Choose the Brew. It wasn't the card that won. The Regal Caracal was not the card that won the You Choose the Brew. It was Champion Aronis. But I still wanted to build a deck around the, the Cat Tribal uh, cards. So I did that. You got to see some gameplay with that. We're going to be doing stuff similar with the decks that we're going to be doing, or I'm going to be at least doing that with the decks uh, or the deck that I'm building, the Champion Aronis deck that I'm building for the You Choose the Brew. So keep a lookout for that for more Magic Online content where I test out some decks. As well, too, there have been a couple comments asking us if we could get some guests on the show or uh, compete against maybe some other content creators. And we would love to do that. We have a couple of, of content creators in mind that we would like to sort of uh, play online. Or, or, well, we'd love to play in person, but most of the creators that we sort of um, are somewhat friendly with, they all live in different areas of the world, really. Some people live in different areas of North America. Some people live all the way across the pond in Europe. And uh, we are going to be hopefully doing some sort of magic online content with them. And as well, too, we're going to try to get a few of our friends uh, who live locally to play with us so you can see some fresh faces as well. Not sure when that's all going to kick off, but hopefully that will be sometime before fall of this year. And sort of in the same vein of hopefully playing against other creators or, or, or other players uh, that you haven't seen before, I'm really, really going to be pushing to try to get uh, some some play online, some Twitch play uh, very, very soon. So I, I, I want to play. I do want to play Magic online on Twitch and stream it on Twitch, but I'm also hoping to stream other games on Twitch. So keep an eye out for that, because hopefully that will be done or started up sometime within the next month or so. I've, I've already sort of set it up. I've done one sort of test to make sure that that. I, I didn't screw up the settings and people would actually be able to see me when I do go live on Twitch. So that is definitely something I want to start putting some time and some real time in this year. That's sort of one of my goals is to get the Twitch streams um, that I would like to be doing on a regular basis, both Magic Online and other games as well. Now I'm going to talk a little bit more about that aspect of, of what I would like to be doing both with the channel and outside the channel. But let's quickly get back to the comments, some of the comments left, because there's a couple more comments I did sort of want to get to. Now, a couple of you left comments asking for sort of like a um, an advice video or something where you guys maybe send in a deck and we sort of help you uh, pimp it or, or, or make it better, or even just sort of give general advice to, to people when it comes to brewing. Travis and I talked about that. We, I mean, any advice we can possibly give you guys, we're more than happy to, to, to give people. Our main concern is the fact that we are, I think we, I think it's safe to say that we consider ourselves more creative builders than competitive builders. So even though I feel comfortable giving advice on, for example, something I gave advice on in the past was how to sort of get into Popper or how do you sort of start up into Popper, I'm less confident with giving people advice on what do I need to do to make my deck better because I'm not exactly the most knowledgeable deck builder out there. So there are certain things where I think we're quite strong in and certain things where maybe not so much. I mean, a very, very new player, there's definitely advice I would be able to give and I think Travis would feel comfortable giving, but we will 
if we do tackle that sort of idea, we're going to do it very cautiously and with sort of a, uh, a warning ahead of time that take our advice with a grain of salt because we are by no means experts. Now, one of the final types of comments that we've seen in the comment section for the Top Deck Hero $50 giveaway video is uh, more Mana Cave videos. Could we do more Mana Cave? And that's something we definitely would like to do. Now, the deck techs, we're not going to lie, the deck techs and some of our top X videos typically get a fair amount more views than the Mana Cave videos do. However, we really do enjoy doing the Mana Cave, but we are going to be changing how we do the Mana Cave. Now, current up until this point, we've been trying to produce a Mana Cave every single Friday or every single week for the entire time the channel's been around. Now, there have been several weeks uh, just recently, and a we took a brief break last year where we didn't produce a Mana Cave. But for the most part, we've produced 58-something episodes of the Mana Cave. It might be in the 60s. I can't quite remember. But yeah, I think it actually is in the 60s. So we've, we've produced a fair number of Mana Caves since we started the channel, and we want to keep producing the Mana Cave because we just enjoy it. We just we enjoy playing Magic. Uh, we, we're used to filming it now. We actually catch ourselves when we're just playing a game without cameras, acting as if we are on camera, like, you know, explaining the cards and stuff when we really don't have to because Travis and I are just playing each other. So we are going to be doing more Mana Caves, but we're going to be changing the format a little bit with the Mana Cave. In, in the past, we had either done single um, game competitions, or if we were going to do sort of a best two out of three, we'd be splitting it up over two to three episodes. Now, what we're probably going to be doing in the future from here on out is producing a Mana Cave that is a match into itself. So I, each episode of the Mana Cave will be a best two out of three. However, the sort of trade-off for doing that is that we're not going to be producing the Mana Cave as often. So we are going to probably switch to doing the Mana Caves once a week to once a month, possibly at most once every two weeks, just because it's going to take us a little bit longer to edit those videos for a best two out of three match. But that's how we would like to do it, because we feel that it's it's a a more complete example of two decks competing when you guys can actually see a full match. Uh, as opposed to just a single game where sometimes things just won't work out at all, or stretching a match out over three separate episodes. So that's sort of our plans for the Mana Cave in the future. So I think that sort of covers all the main comments. Hopefully, if I miss some, I, I apologize from the Top Deck Hero $50 giveaway video, or the suggestions or thoughts that you guys have had. Uh, if I did miss any, please remind me in the comment section below, or I will just double check later and then do another vlog because this is this is something I would like to keep doing is vlogs like this where I'm just sort of like, you know, either discussing videos that have come out on the channel or just what I plan to be doing. Speaking of what I plan to be doing in the future, let's get back to something I touched upon before, which was me going on Twitch and streaming some gaming. Now, for the most part, Brain Pulp TV has really sort of moved towards being magic centric. We have done some videos in the past which were not centered around magic, but for the most part, we stick to magic based content. So if I'm going to be doing some Twitch streaming for Brain Pulp, I'm definitely going to be playing magic online. Now, that said, my interests and Travis's interests go beyond just magic, um, not just with gaming, but in pop culture in general. So I do want to stream other games on Twitch or even just recording videos. It doesn't necessarily have to be streaming, it could just be even just like recording video content and then putting it on the channel. However, I just don't know if this channel is the best fit for it because sometimes people don't necessarily like, you know, mixing their chocolate with their peanut butter. Maybe you guys would prefer this to be sort of stick with just being a more magic centric channel. And even though we have produced other types of videos in the past, maybe Travis and I, because we both talked about doing our own sort of channels and, and producing our own content in our own separate channels. So this may be something that pushes me towards doing that, like creating sort of a, a, a sort of a sub channel or a separate channel where I produce um, board gaming stuff, not necessarily magic stuff, but just like board gaming in general. There are a ton of board games. I'd like to figure out a way to shoot and invite friends over and then post that content online as well as video games. I, I would just there player unknowns. Battleground is a game I'd really like to post videos on or stream on Twitch or Friday the 13th. I've been enjoying the hell out of watching people play that online, and I'm really, really 
interested in playing that. Uh, Darkest Dungeon, which is an older game, not older game, but it's a year old, which in video game time is like a million years. So they've recently released a uh, DLC for it, though. So it's a game that I've really started to get into and I wouldn't mind producing videos for. But once again, not sure if this is the channel I should be posting them on or if I'm going to be doing those on my own separate channel. If you guys have feelings one way or the other, please leave that in the comments section. Let me know if you'd like to see us keep Brain Pulp as sort of more of a magic channel or just try new things. Because if, if you guys are open to seeing it, we're open to producing it on here. But really, for the most part, I'm 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 sort of leaning towards posting these videos on a separate channel. So what else? What am I forgetting? Um, oh, yes. The, obviously, like the pre-release is going to be coming up. There's been spoilers galore for Hour of Devastation coming out, as well as some other magic products like the uh, there's been some spoilers for the, the, the Planeswalker decks to go with Hours of Devastation. Um, and uh, the Commander decks, the new the new Commander set is coming out, not the anthology, but the actual Commander decks for 2017. Those will be coming out this year. And uh, we are going to be trying to produce content that centers around that as well, too. That's sort of what I'm talking about before, where it's sort of like we, we've got so much stuff that we can do on the channel that's that's centered around magic. I'm not sure if we want to clog up the channel with other types of videos. So who knows? We'll, we will see. We will see. But there's definitely I can guarantee you there's definitely going to be more magic content on the channel coming up for like as as long as we keep doing the channel, which as far as I can tell right now, given uh, how much fun we're having with it will be for quite a while. So I think that's about it for this. I'm going to try to keep this one a bit shorter than other videos and in the past, because I have a, I have a horrible tendency to go on and on and on and uh, make what should be a short video, a very long video. But that said, I'm going to make it a little bit longer because I do want to quickly talk about once again, about the, uh, the top deck hero $50 giveaway. Now that was, a video that we wanted to do or a giveaway that we wanted to do to say thanks to you guys for getting us to 500 subscribers. We've since actually hit over 600 now. So we were a bit slow on getting this out there, even though the, the, the time between 500 and 600 was a lot shorter than we were expecting. Still, we, we were hoping that by the time we hit the next milestone, we'll be a bit ahead of the game and we'll be like, you know, a bit more uh, releasing stuff in a bit more timely fashion. However, for this one, uh, first of all, thanks to Top Deck Hero dot com who is supplying us once again with a store credit which is amazing a fifty dollar store credit so thank you guys very much for that but i wanted to uh do one last sort of um shout out to you guys for one getting us to 500 subscribers and two to to really try to get you guys to to go to that video and leave a comment and enter yourself in for the fifty dollar giveaway because this is about us thanking you guys for getting us to 500 so i want as many of you 500 or 600 now subscribers to have a chance at winning this $50 store credit. So even if um, like we we have received a, f uh, a few new subscriptions because of the giveaway video or seemingly because of the giveaway video, that's great. But this is really about those of you who have already subscribed and our, our way of saying thanks. So go there, leave a comment, enter for a chance to win. Um, I mean, the, the, the worst thing that can happen is that you don't win. So you're no worse off than you are right now. But also, if you do know anyone else who's who's into magic and wants a shot at winning a $50 store credit uh, to get some magic singles to maybe boost one of your decks or create a deck, then uh, yeah, definitely, definitely have them check out the video. Let them know about the video and have them check it out and see if maybe we can convert them into being um, part of the brain pulp brain trust or whatever we're going to be calling ourselves. I have no idea if we have sort of a clever name like the dragon army or whatever, but we are going to try to come up with that. That's something we'll try to do in the future. We'll try to come up with a, a clever name for the people who support the channel and enjoy the content. And with that said, I'm going to end this right here because I stopped to edit this. And no matter how long this video is, I guarantee you, I recorded at least 10 times as much footage before it was edited down. So Take care, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again very soon.